Welcome to AIM SLC Facilitator. In the last class, we have discussed the problems on trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. In this class, we are discussing about trigonometric identities. An equation involving trigonometric ratios of an angle is called a trigonometric identity if it is true for all values of the angles involved. It means if you take any values for the angles, then those trigonometric identities will satisfy. Let us derive the trigonometric identities. Consider right triangle APC. Angle B is equal to 90 degree. By Pythagoras theorem, by Pythagoras theorem, By Pythagoras theorem, we know that AC square is equal to, AC square means hypotenuse square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Now, we have to divide the whole equation by AC square. Then, we get AC square by AC square is equal to AB square by AC square plus BC square by AC square. It implies 1 is equal to AB by AC whole square plus BC by AC whole square. In the next step, it implies 1 is equal to, see here, with respect to angle A, AB is the adjacent side and BC is the opposite side. We have already know that AC is hypotenuse. So, with respect to angle A, BC is opposite side and AB is adjacent side. So, this is nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent by hypotenuse means we know that cos A, it is square, so cos square A. Plus, BC by AC means opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite by hypotenuse means sin A. A square is there, so we have to take sin square A. So, it implies, we can write this as sin square A plus cos square A is equal to 1. This is the first trigonometric identity. Let it be equation 1. This is the first trigonometric identity. Now, let us consider first trigonometric identity. That is sin square A plus cos square A is equal to 1. Let us divide this equation by cos square a. If you divide the whole equation by cos square a, then sin square a by cos square a plus cos square a by cos square a is equal to 1 by cos square a. In the next step, sin square a by cos square a is there sin by cos means tan, so tan square a plus cos square a by cos square a get cancelled, we get 1 is equal to 1 by cos means secant square is there, so secant square a. So we can write this as 1 plus tan square a is equal to secant square a. This is the second trigonometric identity. Again, let us consider the same first identity sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. Now let us divide the whole equation by sin square a. Then we get sin square a by sin square a plus cos square a by sin square a is equal to 1 by sin square a. It implies sin square a sin square a get cancelled we get 1 plus cos by sin is there so we get cot and square is there so we have to take square so 1 plus cot square a is equal to 1 by sin means cosecant square 1 by sin means cosecant and square is there so cosecant square a this is the third identity 1 plus cot square a is equal to cosecant square so, there are three trigonometric identities. First one is sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. Second one is 1 plus tan square a is equal to secant square a. Third one is 
1 plus cot square A is equal to cosecant square A. These are the three trigonometric identities.